Good day guys, welcome to today 48 lesson on Star Pro Connect Edition. Today we shall learn how to design a crane gantry and we are going to use moving load on it. So the first thing I do is pick my drum model my 10 meter beam. Yes, so from node 1 to node 2. Okay, so the property I need is a UB section. So select my UB section. British. You be okay, let me just pick this add close assign to view assign to view then the next thing is support so create support pin support add assign to view assign to view okay now i know it is simply supported and is also plain so i go to utilities command file yes and change it to a plain structure so start plain okay so save and close so after that you go to the front view so after you go to your loading so the next thing you need to do is you need to define your vehicular loading so let me draw something for you let me try and explain it with pictures okay so imagine we have our 10 meter beam like this and we have two loads on it first load is 10 kN and the distance between the next load is also under 10 kN so the space is 0 0.5 meters so I know from this point to this point is 10 meters so that's what I want to load on my start pro so the vehicle definitions add yes so the first load is 10 kN and the next load is 10 kN so the distance between both of them is 0 0.5 so you add close so once you are done with that you go to you close down the tree and go to load case details so the first one i'm adding is the dead load dead load add close so under the dead load i'm adding only self weight add close assign to view assign to view so the next one I need to do is to add to my load generation. So number of loads to be generated. Now to know the number of loads to be generated, I know that I have 10 meters. I have 10. So 10 plus at the start and at the end, that's plus 2. Divided by, I want it to be generated at every 0 0.1, 0 0.5 meters. So divided by 0 0.5 meters. So I have 12 times 2 which is equals to 24 so number of loads to be generated equals 24 number of loads to be generated 24 so add close so under this i'll click add then type if i've created two types i can choose whatever i want but in this case i've created only one so the increment i've set 0 0.5 and the x coordinates where do i want this 10 meter to start where do i want it to start from i want it to start from the origin so i'm going to put minus 0 0.5 so minus 0 0.5 in my x coordinate because it's increasing the x coordinate so not the y so add close so you can see these different load combinations okay so once i'm done i go to analysis define command add command close then design so my steel design i'm just going to check code and select okay check code assign to view this also assign to view yes then run the analysis okay so we have zero error seven warning okay so you can see different load combinations you created the dead load and everything so you can see your loads view load diagram so this is the first one the first load we created generation this one you can see it you can see the next one you can see it then the third one so you can always see that they are increasing how different loads are increasing sorry so you can see how they are increasing you can see your displacement okay
see your reaction in this one you can see your beam results for this one and generation you can see it at this point your beam reaction now you can ask go to the layout and utilization so you can see the section we provided just increased by a little bit okay so there are no field members so you can use this 305 by 3 by 165 by 46 for your crane gantry thank you for watching today's video if you have any question you can drop it in the comment section below okay thank you very much